you're going to start off by grabbing your man's wrist and leading him to the chair from wherever you are in your house or in your apartment then when you get there push him down firmly into the chair so that he knows that you're in charge and this just requires you to be a little bit dominant all right we need some dominant air bring in some dominant air into the mix On today's episode of Juiciness, I will give you eight ways to strip for your man. <laughs> Are you ready, my ladies? Because let it be known that performing a strip tease for your man is one of the many wonderful ways to spice up your sex life and make it burning hot for days, months to come. But if you don't prepare properly for it, then I assure you that it will leave you looking awkward, weird, and silly to your man. And I know it's really, really nerve-wracking, but you know, a journey of a thousand miles started with just one step, yeah? So follow me as I show you how to strip tease for your man. And before you know it, you will almost be ready to start working in a club. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. We're, we're not doing that. We're not playing like that, all right? Now, I think the most important part of stripping for your man is getting ready so that, you know, the whole thing goes really smoothly and flows effortlessly and naturally. So you know what? You prepare. Because the last thing that you want to do is stumbling around in front of your man, turning on the music and setting up chairs for your man. Nah, you don't want that. You should have had all of this preambles sorted out, figured out before the set time. So first figure out where you want to have the strip tease happening, all right? So if your bedroom is big enough, then you should ideally strip for your man there as he will automatically associate it with sex and, and of course all things naughty. But if not, then your living room will have to do, all right? Next, you need to think of what you're going to wear so that you look hot and freaking spicy. Now, I would suggest that you choose you know, a pair of sexy stockings or bra or panties or lingerie that you know will turn your man on. Don't wear granny panties, please. Or that underwear that you've had since elementary school with missing bra hooks and, you know, turn nets around the, the butt area. That's why you should invest in your lingerie even if you don't have a man yet. It's an investment. Invest in your lingerie, even as a single lady. And sometimes you could admire yourself in them. And when the time is right, you could destroy your man's senses when serving looks night after night, all right? And then again, you could also wear a skirt that is easy to sleep out of. See, the key when choosing your clothes is that your underwear can be super tight and sexy, but your outerwear, your outerwear, needs to be fairly loose and easy to remove don't go don't go and be wearing tight clothes that leaves him breathless when he's trying to undress you or it leaves you struggling trying to get out of all right now what shoes or boots would you want to wear it's truly up to you but whatever you decide whatever shoes that you decide to wear they should be able to ascend your legs so heels are almost perfect they're almost you know the best option but if you don't feel comfortable wearing heels <laughs> don't feel like that you have to all right you could just go barefooted instead next i would say um it's time for you to pay attention to the mood bright lights are a no no subtle subdued lighting is what you want so if you have a dimmer light then you're in luck if you don't then you will need to turn off the lights and you know just use candles instead alternatively you could throw a sheet over a lamp um, to give it that same effect just make sure not to start a fire with the lamp that's um, that heats that heats up so fast i would say that you should use energy um, reserving lamps the kind that doesn't release so much heat that your sheet you know burns or goes up in flame all right that would be a colossal mistake and also you could try lighting incense all right scented candles 
for some nice smell, some nice aromatherapy while you're performing your strip tease for your man. He would love it. Now, the last part of setting the mood is choosing the right music. And please, I would beseech you that you do your best to find what type of music really turns your man on. It could turn out to be top 40 songs and oldies. It could be even heavy metal. All right, whatever it is, just try to find out what it is that your man gets turned on by. Now, if this is your first time stripping for your man, then I know, of course, that it will be a little nerve wracking for you. But there is a simple solution to all of this. You should try having a glass of wine before doing it. It will help make everything go smoothly. All right. Just make sure to have only one glass. Anything more than one glass, you would just end up being drunk and doing useless things, which will not make for a sexy um, strip teasing party. Now, the last thing you're going to need is a chair for your man to sit down. So now that we think that we have everything, I think it's time to learn how to actually strip for your man. Okay, let's do this. Number one, you're going to start off by grabbing your man's wrist and leading him to the chair from wherever you are in your house or in your apartment then when you get there push him down firmly into the chair so that he knows that you're in charge and this just requires you to be a little bit dominant all right we need some dominant air bring in some dominant air into the mix and next you give him a quick kiss so that he knows that you aren't being too serious, even though you are still definitely the one in charge. Give him a kiss. You know how to kiss. There is a link up here. Then afterwards, you can slowly and seductively walk a few steps away from him, making sure to accentuate your hips as you do so. Then you stop and you look over your shoulders at him and then lower whatever you're wearing, maybe a jacket or maybe a kimono, you know, lower it to the ground. <laughs> See, on my next video, I'm going to teach you how to be seductive. <laughs> the next thing you do is take a step back towards your man and then put your hands on either side of your hips and slowly start to lower your skirt to the ground. And as you do so, start to bend down towards the ground, making sure that you give your man a bird's eye view of your junk in the trunk. And the slower you do this, the better. All right? <laughs> and if you're feeling confident at this stage, then it's just a case of putting your hands on your hips and slowly rotating your hips right in front of him, okay? And if he tries to touch or grab you, you throw his hands away and wave your finger at him in his face. Not the time to play boy. You can also do this while facing him or while your back is turned against him, okay? Now, another very sexy move is to straddle one of his legs. You know, you just sit on it and you grind up and down it. You get the drift. Ah! <laughs> now, once you are done doing this, again, slowly walk away from your man. You can stop when you're like a few feet away from him and then you slowly start to undo your brow with your back to him. Then you can start by slipping your shoulder strap down before undoing it from behind. Then when you're done, you just swirl it like this and throw it at your man before turning around and you know slowly walking back to him crazy okay now when you get to him just sit down on his knees and start grinding on it again and just go from there go sister go or you could just stay grinding on his knees until you make yourself calm honestly i think it's a good idea to try this all on your own first all right so that you get an idea of what is really easy to do and what's not easy to do and then if you need to perfect your act before that set time with your man so that you don't look silly doing all of these things and you're pretty much unsure of what you're doing because making it super hard once you've mastered the actual stripping part you know it's it's going to be a lot easier for you to graduate to something more sexier in terms of foreplay 
or you could even use the um, powerful sexual tips that I've been giving you on my channel on him. So now that you get the idea on how to strip tease your man in a very seductive way, you could run along sister and tease him to a frenzy, tease him to paradise and have fun. And don't you forget to give me feedbacks. You know, I always love feedbacks. How well do you strip tease? How well do you seductively tease your man? I need to know because I know that I'm in a community of freaks. <laughs> okay. Catch you on my next um, content. All right. See you when I see you. Mwah.